Tis the season for holiday tipping. Yes, but who should get a little extra this time of year? That's the question. And how much? Mm -hmm. Jeff Bangerter from Bangerter Financial joins us with some ideas and some tipping tips for who we should tip and yeah. how much. I'm taking notes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Guide to gratuity. Right? Yeah. A guide to gratuity. Good morning, like sir. Absolutely. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I, I, you know, I think when we look at tipping, we really want to look at how uh, often we use a service right. and how long we've been a client okay. before we determine what the tip should be. And I think with a little bit of planning, you can mm -hmm. do some tipping, take care of the people that are taking care of you without breaking the budget. Okay. 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 So right. who are the most tipped people, like your babysitter, well, it really ranges from the level of service. So I okay. actually have a couple of little guides here. Okay. We did some graphic work yeah. here. Oh, oh that's high what tech. Yeah, high oh. tech. It's high tech. Uh, I like it. So if you have a babysitter, okay. And okay. you should tip them about the cost of one night of them babysitting your child. Okay. okay. And if you have daycare, then usually twenty-five to seventy dollars, and maybe a small gift from your child. So it doesn't oh, okay. have to cost anything. Okay. Right? And if they're going to school, you could even uh, tip the. Teacher with a little gift or something, yeah. right. check with the school and make sure that's okay, right. Okay. right. Before okay. you yes. go there, right. there are okay. rules. All right. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then as we go on to uh, you know all the personal services yeah. that we all your need, right? Your hairstylist, absolutely. Yes. You think your I love person. this woman. <laughs> 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 well, and normally you want to tip those folks about the cost of the service, right? Okay. And normally, now that's this time of year, right? Okay. Normally throughout the year, you want to do fifteen to twenty percent, kind mm -hmm. of the standard. Now, I think you, on the hairstylist particularly, like 20% is a good idea because if you need to get in, right, right yes. then they're going to remember, oh, this is the one that tips me really good. And you're yes. going to get kind of okay. preferential treatment. So I think that's a really good idea there. We well. like preferential treatment at the hair salon. Absolutely. And then think about the delivery people, the oh, yeah. FedEx, UPS people. Okay. You know, they're bringing packages in. We're up in the second floor, too. So they're, you know, they're, they're working to bring that stuff up right. there. So, you know, you want to tip them 15 to $25 in that range. Uh, it gets a little more interesting if, if you think about your newspaper delivery, you know, maybe five to twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, U.S. postal carriers, that's a little different because by law they're not supposed to accept any right. cash or checks yeah. or gift cards. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've heard people saying they've already given some, so you know what, yeah. <laughs> what the rules are, they're not supposed to get any, but maybe some cookies or a uh -huh. drink or something, you know, under 20 bucks, just kind of a, a nice gift to right. take just care to of. Say thank you. Now I get confused yeah. with restaurants because we're already tipping every right. single time you go to a restaurant. Yeah. So are we adding an additional percentage to well, that this time of year? Yeah, so just increasing the percentage okay. a little bit because normally we're 15 to 20 percent right. and this time of year 20 to 25 percent oh, I think okay. is a good idea. You know, it's kind of interesting too with that normal 15 to 20 percent. It kind of depends on where you eat too yeah. because, you know, like for lunch, I can go to lunch for $10. And you know, I, I feel kind of cheap if I only leave two bucks. You know, <laughs> so I'll this time of year too. You could junk, you know, push that up to maybe four dollar, forty percent tip on a small lunch kind of yeah. item. I think would be fair, yeah. and your server's going to love it. Now, the one thing I don't see on there, but I think it's probably included, would be landscapers. So we have landscapers that come to the house every mm -hmm. single week, mm -hmm. do the lawn and trim the hedges. Where does that fall in? So really, there's a whole group of people that you know you think about it from yeah. the landscapers, the trash collectors. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a, a gal that comes and does uh, takes care of the house, housekeeper. I, I need to remind my wife tip her today. She's yeah. coming today. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And uh, you know, and we have people that bring water up to our office and supplies and mm -hmm. different things. So yeah. kind of all those people, you definitely want to give them a tip. And again, it could be a cash tip or it could be a, a gift card or. A small gift you know even honestly even if you don't want to break the bank you get a handwritten thank you note would be fine mm. all right okay. just a little acknowledgement is yes what it is. Just okay make sure they a little know. extra this we'll time of year yeah okay. and i suggest you do the old thing where you make sure they know it's a tip like you make sure they know it's a tip from you <laughs> yes right so, right. You, so that perfect treatment continues into the spring right right <laughs> thanks girl just, right. just, just a, a little, little reminder a little extra. This, this is for you a little something yes. extra there we thanks, go thanks jeff be all flashy thanks for having me thanks jeff appreciate it all right 750 here in northern